Hi, I'm Jatim Bilamoria, and I'm here with Paul Donnelly of the YQL team. We're going to take a look at the new YQL console. Uh, Paul, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the changes you've made to the YQL box? It seems like uh, the REST query box has changed. Yeah, um, we actually moved the REST query box to the bottom of the page, um, whereas before it lived on the top right-hand corner over here. And we did that because we wanted some more space for your YQL uh, queries um, in the YQL statement text box. Um, if you want some more room, you can actually hit the, the hide link here um, to hide the REST query, and it gives you a little bit more space to see your, uh, your output. Um, and you can always use your um, this pane adjuster to increase the size okay. as well. Cool. Uh, I also noticed that we have this new option called query aliases. Can you explain what query aliases are? Sure. Um, first, let's let's go over to the query alias drop-down box, and you actually need to be signed in to to use this feature. So let's go ahead and uh, sign in. Okay. Um, so what query aliases are is um, a nice way to. Um, personalize and shorten uh, your YQL queries. So let's take an example here. I'll go to the Flutter table and I'll choose a statement and I'll make this into a shorter statement. So I'll click on the Create Query Aliases link and if I if you haven't created um, a prefix alias already um, you'll be prompted with this box where you have to enter your, uh, your unique um, prefix which is tied to your account and uh, Let's use my uh, let's use my username as my prefix. Okay, next. And now the next box is the the part where you actually enter your alias for this statement. Select star from Flickr photos, um, and I'll really make it short. I'll call it Flickr, and I'll hit the next button. And this screen shows you the query alias endpoints. And the top one is the public endpoint, which requires no authentic authentication. And the bottom one uh, requires OAuth authentication. And close that. And you can see the alias that was created right here. And on the bottom, uh, you could also view the, the query alias uh, REST endpoint here. Wow. OK. Um, how about? Inserting parameters, how, how do you pass parameters through with query aliases? Um, we could do that using the at variable substitution um, symbol. So we, we'll go to this example. Let's do select star from HTML, where URL equals at URL. And URL is gonna, going to be my, um, my name, and the value will be uh, the at URL. And let's create that. And I'll call it get page for short. Return. And here's my get page. And here at my REST query, um, if I were to pass it, if I wanted to fetch um, omg.com, I would go question mark URL equals omg.com. And this will fetch the uh, HTML from that website. Wow, that's, that's really cool. Um... It seems like you can really shorten your REST queries now with this new query alias feature. Thanks a lot, Paul, for showing us some of these features, and we hope all of you get a chance to try them out at developer.yahoo.com slash YQL.